Hi, my name is Hazel. It's my graduation year. The best time of my life, right? I thought that I would be doing crazy stuff with my friends, going to parties, but instead, I'm sitting at home doing homework. And I also know how to play the guitar. I was not a popular girl. Mom didn't let me wear revealing clothes, but I wanted to live my school years so that I would remember them. You know what I mean? I dated a couple guys, but they were from my quiz bowl team. I knew that dating bad boys could never end well, but I really wanted to hang out with them. Ladies, I hope you understand me. One day, I finally decided. To hell with the future! I wanted to live now, and that's how my terrible story began. I stopped caring what my mom thought and finally started wearing clothes that I liked. A short skirt seemed like a great idea to me. I had never worn anything like that. I expected all eyes to be on me, but I didn't think I would get laughed at. Amber was a girl who was constantly talking down to everyone and telling who to do what and how to do it. She took a picture of me and put it on Instagram with a rude caption. I wanted to run away, but for the first time in my life, I wanted to get revenge. I was so angry that I pushed her. She fell across the desk and grabbed her face. Everyone was looking at me. I was extremely nervous, but I pretended that I meant to do it. I felt so sorry for her, and I knew that I was going to have big problems now. Amber was taken away in an ambulance. She had broken her jaw, but I didn't mean to hurt her. Just get back at her. My parents were immediately called to the school. It was a big scandal. They had to pay for her treatment. I was saved only by the fact that I had an excellent reputation and good grades. After that incident, people started looking at me differently. Nobody was talking behind my back, as if they had begun to respect me. After all, Amber had ruined many moods and lives, and I had given her a taste of her own medicine. I was proud of myself, but I still didn't feel like I had found my footing. But then, something incredible happened. Jax started talking to me. Jax was one of those guys that my mom had forbidden me from spending time with. A real bad boy. He had gone down as the most reckless troublemaker in the history of the school. He invited me to his party. Here's what happened next. I had never been so nervous. I had nothing to wear. All my clothes were plain, and I had to win everyone over. So I bought an old jacket and some torn jeans. Now there was a cool chick looking back at me in the mirror. I thought for sure I was being pranked, but when I arrived at Jax's ridiculously nice house, there really was a party. He was very glad I was there. He told me that I looked amazing. His friends were waiting inside. My hands started sweating. That odd feeling rose within me again, like I was a stranger there. The girls were talking to me as if we were old friends. I was used to being reserved and soft-spoken, but I started dancing and laughing out loud with everyone else. We were playing air guitars and jumping on couches. It was incredible. At least, I thought so. I was dancing with Jax and my heart was beating so fast. Then he took my hand and we went up to the second floor. We started to get closer and I got goosebumps all over my body. And then we kissed. It wasn't my first kiss, but it was so wild. At that moment, I felt like I was no longer Hazel, the good girl. That wasn't all. After the kiss, Jax invited me to go on a trip with him out of town that Saturday. Just us, with an overnight stay. I already knew what he was getting at, but agreed. If only I had known how that trip would end. When I got home, my mother was watching me like a hawk. She started saying that she expected more of me and was just making a huge deal of everything. But you know what I did? I decided not to be silent and told her everything. I told her that I had become what I always wanted to be and she would just have to deal with it. She screamed a little, but then everything calmed down and we went to bed. Now I was the cool chick and I had fallen deeply in love with Jax. On Monday, the whole school knew that we were dating. We hadn't left each other's side all week. We were constantly flirting and sneaking kisses. When we would walk around school, the other girls were so jealous of me. 
I felt like I had gotten everything I had been dreaming about. But I must admit something to you. Sometimes, it seemed like that life wasn't mine. I had proven to myself that I could be popular and broke all the rules, but I didn't know how far I could go. Friday night, we were texting back and forth. He texted me that he would make tomorrow night unforgettable for me. I couldn't sleep at all that night from excitement and was fantasizing a lot. Finally, Saturday came. I had just finished packing when I heard the roar of an engine. Mom didn't approve of this trip, but she couldn't stop me anymore. When I went outside, I saw Jax in his car and all his friends, but I thought we were just going together. I didn't have the courage to ask why there were other girls in his car, and off we went. We stopped at the store. His friends were messing around in the parking lot while he opened the door for me. I thought we would go in together and buy marshmallows and hot dogs, but Jax had other plans for me. He handed me the money and told me to go to the pharmacy and buy condoms. I stared at him in shock. Why was he asking me to do that? I didn't have time to think about it because he leaned over to my ear and said, you're a bad chick, right? So what's the problem? I was afraid that he would figure out that I was only pretending to be cool. So I took the money and went to the pharmacy. I was so scared and ashamed. I was hoping there would be no one inside and I was lucky. I went to the counter and wanted to get it over with as soon as possible, but I couldn't get the words out. At that moment, the door opened and two customers came in. They were right behind me. I felt like a little girl whose mother had left her in line by herself. I felt like the pharmacist was judging me. To make matters worse, when I was finally able to squeeze the right word out, she asked again. I had to repeat it louder. And then she put the box down for all to see as she counted my change. I wanted to melt. I was so nervous, I was shaking. Yes, I was proud that I had managed, but was it worth it? I was worried about what Jax meant by an unforgettable evening, but there was no turning back. In the end, we were in love with each other and I believed that he wouldn't hurt me. We turned off the road toward the forest. We set up tents in a clearing and turned on some music. The girls and I were roasting marshmallows and gossiping. They were talking about their personal lives and it embarrassed me. What had seemed so cool and attractive to me before now frightened me. I didn't know what I was doing there. It was like I was wearing a mask and now it was sliding off my face. That night, I was waiting for Jax in the tent. I needed to talk to him. But when he came in, I couldn't utter a word. He kissed me and my head was spinning. It was so nice. Maybe this wasn't such a bad idea, but he started kissing me more aggressively and I felt uneasy. I realized that I wasn't ready for this. I asked him to stop, but he just ignored me. It scared me and I started screaming. He just grinned. When his friends came running to my screams, I thought I was saved, but they all just laughed. Jax immediately started laughing too. Tears came to my eyes and I ran out of the tent. Then Jax came up to me and said, it was all a prank. I couldn't believe my ears. It turned out that they had seen through me from the very beginning. They wanted to know how far I would go by pretending to be a bad girl. Jax told me that he wasn't interested in my image. He liked the real me. He also said that they were all just regular people, but they just had the courage to be themselves. That's why everyone was so jealous of them. I was so worried about my popularity that I hadn't even noticed. Jax told me that he thought it was cool how I got back at that girl. It was really bold. And then he added that he would gladly continue what we had started and winked at me. I stared at him in shock and he laughed and said that he was joking. I barely restrained myself from hitting him. He really was a troublemaker. I realized that Pretending wouldn't make me happy. Now I was myself, Hazel, the good girl, and I had a great time. We had fun and ate snacks. I played the guitar and the guys thought it was cool. Jax hugged me and that was really awesome. I will never forget that night. These are the memories that I had dreamed about.
I don't know how it will all end, but I don't want to think about it. But I will give you one piece of advice. Be yourself. And that's all. I hope you enjoyed my story. Thanks for listening. What is your best memory from school? Tell us in the comments.